day. G'day everyone. In this video we're going to pot up some seeds. Going to try germinate some little trees. I've just collected seeds. So stick with us for the video. Let us know what you think at the end of it. We love to hear from you in comments. If you want to leave us a like with some thumbs up that would be great. And let's get to it. We'll run through a couple of the things we'll need. I've just got some seedling starter trays. Just pop that on the bottom. Tip a bit of soil on it. There we go. So today I've got seedling trays which is pretty flash, but you can use anything like um, styrofoam boxes, pots or um, plant containers. It pays to use a good soil so I bought myself a bag of good potting mix. Put that in the bottom flatten it out, press it down a bit, make sure it's firm and so it's ready for these seeds to go on. I collected some jacaranda seed pods the other day off of a big town in a city I called into. I noticed they had jacaranda trees in the centre traffic islands so I stopped and picked up some of their seeds. So that's what the pod looks like. Fits in the palm of my hand. Dark brown, crinkly and these are fairly old so they've already opened up. See them there? That's the seeds. Each seed has got a little papery sort of fluffy bit around it. That helps them get spread around in the wild and germinate naturally. Let's the wind carry them. So you see inside each one there's a seed. So they're only tiny seeds. Oh, that's a good one. I've just got an old container here I filled up with water and put seeds in it last night and you just let them soak in the water for about 24 hours just to get them nice and wet and then put them on top of the soil. They might not all take off, but if they do, you want them to have a little bit of room to grow. So I space them about one to two inches each seed and just fill the tray up like that. And once I get them all on top, I'll sprinkle soil over the top of them. There we go, all covered up. Because they're only a small seed, you don't need a lot of soil on top. Just as a real general rule, how big your seed is, is roughly how deep the soil has to be on top of it. So if you've got a nice big seed, like a chestnut seed, you have to do it a bit deeper, put a bit more soil on top. But for tiny seeds like these, you just sprinkle over the top. Alrighty, I've done a couple of trays of the jacarandas, and just so I remember which seeds are in them, I left the seed pod in the tray. So, when I see that little seed pod, I know that's jacarandas. And if you haven't ever seen a jacaranda tree, they are beautiful trees. They get pretty big and lovely sort of lilac purple flowers. Uh, lovely big shade tree. So, nice tree to have. Through the magic of editing, here is a fully grown jacaranda tree. Boop. Now, next I'm going to do some punciana trees. I love Punciana's. Punciana? Poinciana? They are a beautiful big tree when they're fully grown. They're good for climbing. I used to love climbing them. Used to love climb. <laughs> I used to love climbing them when I was a kid. They're a lovely sprawling tree. Beautiful for shade. You can have little gardens of all ferns and lilies and things that like the shade underneath them. Really good for um, a big yard. So they're a lovely tree and they get a red flower and then they get these big seed pods. Okay, so first they come out green. That's then when the seed pod first starts to get close to ready. And then they darken up and they go really dark brown and hard. So let's open it up. 
You can hear the seed shaking inside. We'll open it up and see how many seeds it's got in it. I've got a few of these because I love this tree. They're also good to bonsai. So I do bonsais. I love my bonsais. So hopefully if these come up, I might even bonsai a few. And again, just light sprinkle on top, cover them up. And lastly for today, these little fellas. Now, they're known as orchid trees. What, these ones came off? Um, I think the botanical name is Buckenhamia, I think. So I might check that and I'll confirm it in the edit. They get a beautiful flower on them and I think it comes in white, purple and maybe a light pink also. So there's a few different colours in it. These ones came off a purple flower. It was just one on the footpath when I was driving along and I stopped because I saw seed pods on it. And I just grabbed a couple and I'll see if I can germinate it. But they get a butterfly leaf. I'll try and get a picture. I'll show you a picture of that too. With any sort of luck, you'll be looking at a picture now. They're only a small tree but they do get beautiful flowers they put on a real show so hopefully I can get these to come up as well okay and there we have it just did up a quick four trays We've got poinciana trees, orchid trees, and two trays of jacaranda. So hopefully they all come up. We'll at least get one or two out of them at the very at the very least, I'm hoping. I had the trays lying around. I got the seeds for nothing. I collected them off the footpath for free. And I just bought a bit of good soil. So it's not costing much at all. And hopefully the germinating goes well and I'll get some trees out of it. I'll make sure to keep you updated. Let me know if you want to see more of these gardening type videos. If you've got anything in particular you want me to try, let me know in comments and I'll see if I can get hold of it. Thanks guys. Remember, take time for the simple joys. Bye.